Hello everyone, it's been a while. The cloud guys have uh, cooperated today and uh, allowed me to make a video for you. And that video is going to be how I removed my Newton rings from my solar rig. And you can see the Newton rings in this image. They run left to right, up and down. And uh, in talking to people uh, that are supposed to be familiar with this, they all say you have to tilt the camera to remove Newton rings. Well, tilting the camera just bugs me. I've spent my whole life working with cameras and trying to keep the camera as straight as I can to the optical path and to have to actually have to, have to uh, tilt it to get rid of Newton rings just rubs me the wrong way. So I went digging through uh, my unused Astro supplies and found a ZWO dispersion corrector. And that device has a couple prisms in it and those prisms will bend the light path which, is, if my theory was correct, would remove the Newton rings. So what I would like to show you is my uh, um, solar rig. And uh, the setup. And we'll move one of the levers on the... Um, ZWO dispersion corrector and see if those rings that you see here disappear. So here we go walking out to the rig. This is a uh, AR-102 that I got off of uh, um, Astromart for like 300 bucks used. This is a uh, Pegasus Nix 101 a Pegasus uh, Focus motor. Over here we have a diagonal. I use a diagonal just to keep the length from uh, whacking my computer box. Then I have my quark, the ZWO dispersion corrector, and my camera. And down here is my mini PC that runs the whole show. And I connect into my mini PC wired because I just have too many neighbors that all have uh, their Wi-Fi on. And it's just too, too inconsistent for me. And I have a long run to get where my gear is. My C14 is at those marks out there. My Raza is in here. And then this device would be here. And that's just about 80, 90 feet to the house, the inside of the house, where my radios are. So what I want to show you is the lever, levers that you would use to adjust uh, to remove your dispersion. Well, you can also uh, adjust to remove your Newton rings. And I'm gonna go about 45 degrees because I've found that that is about the magic number for me. I'm just gonna tighten it down so it doesn't move. That looks pretty good. And we'll go back into the uh, garage and take a peek at our uh, screen here. And you can see that there are no more Newton rings, period. I will overstretch it, which will exaggerate. If there were Newton rings, you would see them, and we are not. So. Uh, for those that are experiencing the same issues with their solar rig as I was, you now have a fix if you own the ZWO dispersion corrector. And I will tell you that this works so well that I, I don't run flats when I do full solar anymore. I've got a booger here, a booger here, and a booger here, which I will work on. There's a couple here which you can see once the scope moves, they don't. But the inconsistency that I was getting from the, uh, the quirk, 
uh, is gone and the Newton rings are gone. So this is like a whole new world of solar for me <laughs> without tilting the camera. So I would like to wish everyone clear skies and hopefully I will be seeing some more. Uh, and if I do, I'll be starting to make some more videos again. Sorry about the big pause, but uh, I've really had some terrible weather here between a super wet spring and early summer. It's been cloud city for me. So again, clear skies and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.